Last time on Dragon Ball Z, which took control of Vegeta, fought against Majin Buu and died. Now we are Kakarot, also known as Goku. Now here's Nick with the rest of the game and talking. Thank you, announcer man. That was horrible. But uh, anyway, let's just start by talking as Goku. Man, Vegeta must have knocked me out. Hmm. I wonder how the others are doing. I can still sense Boo, but where are Gohan and Vegeta? I don't sense them. Something terrible has happened. I can sense Piccolo and Krillin over at Kami's lookout. Maybe they know what's going on. You're not playing as Goku. Go to Kami's lookout. I'm just checking the items and stuff like that. We I'm a super saiyan. Don't need to be powered up. So let's let's see what kind of poll for today can we do? Hmm. I like doing the polls for some reason. Uh, favorite DBZ villain. Um, it it can be a previous villain. It could be a current villain. Or I can't say current, but previous as in it was he was a villain. Nice good. That means like Vegeta and Boo because Boo eventually becomes good. Okay, so I'll name mine after the dialogue. Goku, is that really you? Yes. Please tell me what's what's happening. All right. While you're while you were off fighting Vegeta. And we skip it all. And we're still unsure where the Supreme Kai is, even though we can sense he's still alive. I see. And Gohan and Vegeta are gone? What kind of monster are we dealing with? Majin Buu's power level continues to increase. If we can't stop him from destroying the Earth, there will be nothing to prevent him from destroying all life in the universe. That would suck. <laughs> he destroys every last planet, now he's just gonna float around space. Don't be such a downer, Piccolo. We have nothing to worry about now that Goku's here. Am I right? No, it's impossible. I can't beat him alone. He's simply too powerful. <laughs> Denny's like, oh shit. <laughs> when Vegeta and I fought, we were evenly matched. He can he gave everything he had and still couldn't beat that thing. If only Vegeta hadn't been so arrogant think he could beat Boo by himself. Even if we had an army of Super Saiyans, it wouldn't have made any difference. True, but I was about to say that if Vegeta or Gohan were still around, we could have done fusion. Done a fusion. You mean like Piccolo and Kami did? Sort of. While I was in the other world, I met a race of aliens called the Metamore. They taught me the Metamore's art of fusion. It's an ancient art that can be performed between two people similar size and physical ability. Yeah, because uh, Vegeta and Goku are the same size. They're not. However, it's only temporary, but the but the exponential increase in power might be enough to defeat Boo. But it's too late for that now. What about the young ones? Goku and Trunks are the same size. Could they do a fusion? That just might work, Popo! Mr. Popo, sorry. The boys are certainly strong, but I'm not sure if they're strong enough to perform a fusion yet. Sure, they're both Super Saiyans, which is extraordinary for their age, but... Don't worry about us, Dad. We're pretty... We're plenty strong. Yeah. We could probably beat up Boo without this fusion. Trunks got knocked out by a single hit by Vegeta, and then he actually thinks he can beat Majin Buu by himself. What an arrogant son of a bitch. Yeah, I'm cussing a little bit more. Uh, I was told I cuss too- I cuss a little much in Bud's video, but I don't cuss hardly any of mine, so I'm- um, It's gonna be moderated. I'm not, you know, not gonna yell at the screen and cuss language. Yeah, cuss language. That's the new language. You guys are strong, real strong, but there's more to fighting than strength. I have an idea. If we can defeat Boo, we're going to need the Dragon Balls to wish back all this, all his victims. Boo hasn't killed anybody yet. Oh wait, he was knocked out. 
Oh wait, then it's very possible he's already killed a lot of people. Never mind. I forgot. Goku's knocked out, so they kind of skipped that part. I want you boys to search for the Dragon Balls and bring them back here. It'll be a good training exercise and it builds character. We just got the Dragon Runner from Mom. We'll find the Dragon Balls in no time. You're not playing as go ten. Get the Dragon Radar from Bulma and find the Dragon Balls. So, much like Legacy of Goku 2, we have to go find all the freaking Dragon Balls. Uh, are we supposed to be Trunks? Oh, I need to be Goten, though. Any he much lower level? Oh, they're both lower level. Okay. They're gonna play as Bud's favorite character. Well, not really. Wrong Trunks. Alright, so it seems like we're gonna go find the Dragon Radar, then go find the Dragon Balls. That's just... <sighs> I'm glad to be back on my schedule now, but um, I have less and less energy to do this. Ooh, look, money. I should have enough money to last me too long. Got some milk, got some ramen. All the way around. How much money do I have? 30,000 yet, Zenny. Good God. And that's all from, like, training stuff. West City. If you don't have a yacht to us, I'm sorry. Ugh. Yeah, I can Cut Flame Kame- Isn't that what it's called? Flame Kamehameha? Yeah. What? Yeah, because Trunks can use a Kamehameha. Well, he technically he has. I don't know how, but he has. And this brother house is now. Yep, there's Bomba. You need a dragon runner? Here you go. Bulma gives you the dragon radar. Dragon radar appears automatically when you're on the world map. Follow the indicators to find the dragon balls. When the indicator becomes red, a dragon ball is near. So yeah, this is basically, uh, like Goku said, training exercise. That's basically all this is. Now, I'm going to do them all on screen because I guarantee this game's not going to be very long. We're already at the Dragon uh, Dragon Ball section. Do, do. Yeah, look at that. I don't know who's. That's not Trump or Gotenks. Who's blue? It still says to go to the house. This way. Here. Here. It must be you have to go to areas that are locked. Look. Purple. 80. So basically you need to find a Dragon Ball area that you can actually go to to start off, otherwise you're just going to do a lot of training bullshit. Hercule City. Is it probably that pyramid again? Yeah. Well look! Oh. Philoff's Castle, which is probably also a level 8. Oh my god. So, we're looking at Two that takes level 80, which, like I've said, does not take that much time. This might just be a short episode, by the way. <laughs> it seems like it's going to be short. Because off-screen training takes about 20 to 30 minutes. And I don't want to sit here with the recorder. No, let's do this. So basically, we'll just get the plot around. Oh, God. No, 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 no. And all screen training is basically just like how I got Boo and all- or, Shoot, that may not even be there anymore. That would suck. The area surrounding Boo might be gone. Or, near Boo. Yeah. This just might be a short episode where we just basically do the plot. Because now we know what to do. I'm not going to make- it. The next one will be longer because I'll have every- I'll have Trunks and Goten at the required level. Yeah, because here's another place. So 
Pokeballs. See? Let's see who light blue is. I, don't, I think Goku's orange, Gohan is uh, green to replace Piccolo. Goten. Okay. Alright. I know, sorry for a short episode. Next episode, we're actually going to do a little bit more. We're actually going to get the Dragon Balls. That one might be a double the amount of length, but... Anyway, thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all guys next time. Peace out.